moving on to number nine. An interesting thing okay, happened at the last Lake Havasu City Council meeting, something we cannot recall ever having seen before. A long-serving member of the City Board of Adjustment was unanimously rejected for reappointment. Here's what happened. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Motion. Okay. I move to adopt resolution number 13-2718, appointing one regular member, uh, Sarah Hall, uh, to the Board of Adjustment. Second. second. Okay, uh, we have a motion and a second. Um, before we vo vote, um, I do have a comment. Um, I, I believe that uh, members of the Board of Adjustments need to exercise uh, excellent, excellent judgment um, because they are the last say in many of the, the decisions that are made on behalf of our citizens in terms of the uh, zoning and whatnot. And uh, with all due respect to this individual, um, I, I am fully aware of some what I would call not very good judgment through the utilization of the Internet. And for that reason, I'm going to be voting no. So um, one, I think the best way to do this, uh, are there any other comments, any other discussion? Mr. Mayor. Could you explain Please. that? Can you explain more? That? Well, I, I'm not going to take the person to detailed tasks, but all you have to do is Google. But uh, I, I just believe that the judgment used about uh, uh, language towards some of our citizens, language towards members of boards, and language towards members of this council um, is not using good judgment, and consequently I would be concerned that this person would be using good judgment as a member of the Board of Adjustments, even though this is a reappointment. Mr. Mayor, I'd suggest that uh, we delay uh, voting on this person until we can all uh, look at the information available. Well, we do have a motion and a second, so we're going to have to make a mo vote. So, Kelly, why don't you call the roll? Councilmember Dean Barlow? No. Donna Brister? No. David McAllen? No. No. Don Callahan? No. Crystal Alger? No. Jenny Coke? No. Mark Nixon? No. Okay, motion does not pass. Havasu Video News contacted Ms. Hall to learn that she has served on that board for four years, apparently with no complaints from the city. In her most recent blog, she admits not being a fan of the mayor, denies any attacks on council, and admits to a personal problem with a city staffer over a lifestyle decision. Ms. Hall further states that her application was filed six months ago and only learned of her rejection when we contacted her, was not notified that her application would be voted on at the April 9th meeting. Havasu Video News wants to know why, if the mayor had problems with Ms. Hall, he didn't contact her to discuss the issues prior to the vote, why she was never advised of the vote, and why he made his comments after the nomination was presented and seconded forcing a yes or no vote right then and there. HVN believes Ms. Hall deserves to have a chance to explain and even challenge Mr. Nixon's stand, especially in light of the difficulty involved in finding willing board members, especially those who have long served without controversy.